Hey, and welcome to Board with Life News for June 17th. Today I'm going to talk about Tree Frog Games losing the license to Discworld. I'm going to talk about expansions for Battle Lore, Imperial Settlers, Eclipse, and War of the Ring, the new game Champions of Midgard, and the Kickstarter for Cosmic Kaboom. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board of Life News. Uh, you see things change very slightly around here. I'm actually, uh, put, I get my own game room. I'm building a game room and game design studio. So I move my collection, so things are a little bit different. I might be slightly different, but I don't know. I mean, clearly it's the same thing. I don't know why you would really care. It's, it's the news, so that's why the shelves look different. Okay, on to news. Tree Frog Games announced that they have lost the license to Discworld. Uh, those Discworld is the very popular uh, fantasy novels um, by Sir Terry Pratchett, who died recently. Uh, his death uh, resulted in them losing the license. I guess the family didn't want it, or whoever was managing his estate, or whatever. They no longer have the license. Tree Frog Games had previously published Discworld Ankh Morpork, if that's how you say that, as well as the game The Witches, a Discworld game, and they had been planning on releasing a third game in the series. Uh, but they will not be doing that because they don't have a license. So if you've ever had any interest in either of those games, you better pick them up now because they're never going to get reprinted ever again. So do it. I've got tons of expansion news this week, so I'm going to go really quick through all of them and just kind of give you a little bullet points. First up, Fantasy Flight announced that they have two new army packs for Battle Lore. These are going to be undead armies called Terrors of the Mist and Heralds of Dreadfall. Each pack is going to include 37 figures of five different unit types, 20 card lore decks, two army cards, six scenario cards, and terrain tiles. Portal Games announced that they're going to release their first full expansion for Imperial Settlers. Uh, they are hoping to have this released at Gen Con, and it is Atlanteans, which is a pretty cool uh, thematic, interesting one, in my opinion. This is going to be a new faction. It's going to have a new mechanic, as well as new cards for the previous factions and add a fifth player into the game. Eclipse is getting its second expansion, and it's going to be called Eclipse Shadows of the Rift. Uh, this is going to include new mechanics, time distortion, evolution, and anomalies, whatever those are, new rare technologies, developments, and discoveries, uh, two new player boards with three different alien species. Ares Games has announced that they are releasing War of the Ring, Warriors of Middle-Earth, the second expansion for the very popular War of the Ring. Um, and this also comes with the wonderful news that War of the Ring is getting reprinted, which is great because it's a very well-regarded game and it's been out of print for a while. Uh, the expansion is going to include tons of new figures as well as new mechanics, faction dice, and faction events. All right, now out of expansion news, uh, Gray Fox Games announced that they have a new game that they're hoping to release at Gen Con, Champions of Midgard. Um, this is a Viking-themed worker placement game that uses dice for combat. Uh, you're you're going to be placing workers to collect resources that allow you to like build ships and do all that kind of stuff so you can go into battle with different monsters and gain glory. Uh, it's highly thematic. I am very interested in this. Don't be surprised at all if this shows up on my top 10 most anticipated games being released at Gen Con list that will come out uh, early next month. I'm a little bit questionable uh, with how the dice are being implemented because if they're just dice for straight up combat where you roll against something, that's not very interesting to me and I think that there are way better ways to handle that. But if there's tons of different ways that you can modify the die and uh, things like that that you get through worker placement, I'm very excited about this. It's got great artwork. Um, I'm all for highly thematic uh, themes being put on Euro games. I'm all for dice in Euro games when they're implemented correctly. So I'm very interested in this one. This week's Kickstarter is for Cosmic Kaboom. Cosmic Kaboom is a dexterity game that has you flying your ships around, it's a sci-fi game, by flicking your ships to collect different resources, and then you use those resources to build a bomb that is a piece of tile that you throw onto the playing surface trying to blow up other people's ships. Uh, it seems like a really fun kind of light uh, dexterity game with some strategy in it. Uh, it is only $24 right now on Kickstarter, so if you're interested in that, go back it. All right, that's the news for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, uh, and check out our different podcasts, both Houses and Humans, as well as Board of Life Radio, where we play role-playing games. I'm going to do something different this week for the questions. I'm going to live Periscope that, where I'm going to just hope people tune into my Periscope feed and ask me questions, and I'll answer those. It might be an absolute train wreck, but I guess we'll find out right now. Tasty Minstrel asks, why is your beard so long? Um, it's actually for the show, Board of Life. Uh, I grew it because it was funny. Uh, so now I'm stuck with a long beard until we finish uh, finish filming. Uh, somebody asked, it's going away so fast, what happened to Echo Alchemist? And then um, Cedaling asked, where can we buy Echo Alchemist? That's a game that uh, I am working on designing. Um, I'm still working on designing it. Uh, I got some really good feedback from some people and I kind of went back to the drawing board. 
um, and I'm making some major adjustments, including um, instead of only two player, it's going to fit more players. Um, so it's still in the design stages. Um, I'm still pretty happy with it, but uh, we gotta see where it goes. So I'm still working on that. Um, and somebody asked another question, it disappeared too fast because they disappear really quick on things. So re-ask your question if I didn't answer it or ask me a different question. And now I just have to kill dead air because it's also filming thing. Uh, when is the show starting up again? Uh, that is going to be hopefully the very end of this year. We are working on production. We're actually most of the way through production, but we are uh, with scheduling some of the, the special guests and stuff. It was just more complicated than last season, and also it's way bigger than last season because it's going to be seven episodes that are like 20 minutes long, so they're longer episodes and more episodes. Um, but production's going great. We're really proud of it. We're really happy with it. And yeah, so we're it's too soon to tell an exact date, but we're getting pretty close. Um, Alright, that's going to be it. So thanks for tuning in to the news this week, and I'll see you next week.